Sometimes we get a car that we can't help but to modify, especially when it's one of your first cars. You're probably still a student and you don't exactly have the funds to do things the right way. So you head over to wish.com and you buy the cheapest shit you can get your hands on to make your ride stand out in the high school parking lot. What's going on everybody? I'm Sean from Fitment Industries, SeanB.fi on Instagram, and today we're going to talk about car mods that ruined your car. But before we dive right in, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We upload every single day and you're not going to want to miss any of the fun. And don't forget to head over to FitmentIndustries.com to get yourself entered into our giveaway to win a set of Rotoform wheels. Let's get into it. This first one really grinds my gears. Car bras are so freaking destructive to paint and for some reason people keep buying them. Car bra consumers have good intentions, right? To protect the front end of the car from rock chips and whatnot. But what people don't understand is that the bra is going to do way more damage than good, double especially cheap ones. What happens is the bra actually traps dirt and debris around the perimeter and even underneath the bra. And as you drive the car, wind, bumps, opening and closing the hood will cause movement in the bra, even if minimal, and scratch the f out of your paint without you even knowing it until you take it off. You're also gonna cause discoloration to the front end of your car. Naturally, UV rays will fade your paint over time, but with your car bra installed, when you take it off your ride, you're gonna have a bunch of nasty tan lines. Let's move on. The next real cringe-worthy mod that will ruin your car is cheap seats. Not only do cheap seats look incredibly cheap and stupid, they give you zero comfort and back support but they're also extremely unsafe and downright dangerous. The reason seating is so expensive is because they go through countless safety tests to make sure that during a crash, the occupant stays safe and the seats stay together. I've seen countless instances of cars being rear-ended at low speeds and the cheap seats literally break in half. Could you imagine how unsafe that would be in a mid to high speed rear ending or even a high speed on track incident? It probably won't be good. You're much better off with your stock seats than you are with some unsafe cheapers. Please think twice before buying no-name seats. Much like the seats, this next one's gonna be a huge safety concern. Stop buying cheap harnesses. Shady jerks will do anything to make a buck. They're gonna put fake Say Belt, Sparco, and Takata branding on these belts that look like racing belts, but is, in fact, a cheap counterfeit unit. And it will kill you. These fake belts are cheap for a reason. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. These belts typically fail at their mounting points, and the ones that take the brunt of the force are the ones stopping the forward motion of your body at the bottom. And if these mounts break, you're going to be in deep Look what happens in these tests during an investigation of counterfeit belts. Oh wait. How is that stop buying cheap racing harnesses next up is something that's taking over the automotive industry at a rapid pace much like our beloved friend plasti dip and that is actual wrap wrap film has been becoming cheaper and cheaper and so more and more people start trying to do it themselves with little care and little research and when this happens you end up with a bunch of cut corners overlap a bunch of creases and then 90 percent of the time it's used in place of painting a panel and is more often than not covering up bodywork or to hide that your body kit is still just primer underneath and that's why wrapped cars are so hard to sell it's because they're always hiding some underlying issues wrap doesn't fix paint nor does it count as a replacement for paint putting wrap over your unfinished car is just as bad as dipping your unfinished car. The last mod that will ruin your car will actually cause physical harm to your vehicle. The manual boost controller is an absolute disaster of an invention, but they're so damn popular because you can just turn up the boost for $10, which is it's pretty appealing. I can't say I've never done it myself, but it's also a very, very bad idea. You can't just add more air to your engine without adding fuel. It will not add any significant power, if any at all, and your engine management will either shut everything down on you or you're gonna risk catastrophic failure. It's a lose-lose situation. Don't do it. But that about wraps up this one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We upload every single day. And if that's not enough for you, we even started a second channel called Fitment Industries Garage because we couldn't fit all the content that we make on this one. So make sure to check that out from the link in the description. And of course, head over to fitmentindustries.com for all of your wheel, tire, and suspension needs. While you're there, don't forget to check out the giveaway where you can win a set of Rotoform wheels. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. I'm Sean from Fitment Industries, Sean Bita, FI on Instagram. Peace.